Hey, welcome back everyone. If you don't know already, my goal is to make the best faction server that's also non pay to win. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, make sure you join the Discord. The link will be down in the description. Also, since the server won't be pay to win, I'll need more players in order to keep it viable. So if you know anyone who might enjoy this, make sure you send them this video. It really help me out. Also, if you have any suggestions, make sure you leave them down below because any feedback is greatly appreciated. Anyways, let's actually get into this. Anyway, since I basically have this custom enchant plugin 100% complete, I thought it'd be a good idea to show it off so I can get some more feedback on it. So the things I still have to do is add the async player chat so I can actually get the what the player enters in for the item name tag names, then add the damaging set because I already have the defensive set made, and then after that, everything's 100% completed. Um, oh, I do, I think I will add a, like, a particle above the custom upgrade enchant tables because you can see upgrade enchant table versus regular. This is the custom one I made. It took a lot of code. I made a video, I think, two videos ago talking about this, but I've finished it in this one, so I'll talk about that as well. But yeah, so someone suggested make particle effects above it so you know you can tell the difference. I think that that's actually a pretty good idea, so I'll probably work on that. Um, and then obviously some... I'll just do more testing with the enchants and some more balancing. But besides from that, it's basically 100% completed. So I kind of want to show you off everything that I've done and then actually get into it. So um, yeah, this is, I made the pickaxe here so I can actually test the upgraded enchantment table. Anyways, so here's the armor, what it looks like so far. This is what the set looks like. So I kind of want to know the feedback on this. How do you like the looks of it? Um, so for, really quickly here, I want to show you how the, the books add a little bit here. Um, I don't really... So I have it capped at nine lore. Um, let's just go for one. We'll go on the chest plate for this one. And then. Anyways, yeah, I added that sound effect because I thought it added a little bit more depth to the whole game. Um, sound a little bit better. And as you can see, this is already nine lore. So when you try to apply another enchant, it does not work. And then since that's not nine lore, it works perfectly fine. And then there we go. So then that's a what a full set basically looks like. And then as you can see here, I'll try the organization scroll out. So as you can see, it looks like this. Um, this actually took me a little bit to figure out how to organize all the lores because it's a little bit complicated because of the lore at the very bottom. But now it works pretty good, as you see, perfectly. And then you try to apply another one. It does not work because I've already applied it. Everything's already organized, so you can't accidentally apply it to your armor and then screw it up. So that works perfectly. I also added that little sound effect so you know what it actually applied. Um, I thought that was a pretty good addition as well. And then we can do it also in here. And then... What I have for the name tag, I'll show really quickly, is I have it typed out actually in the code because I don't have the players, like actual, I don't have a way to actually get the player's input, which I'm working on right now, which is probably the next thing I'm going to add, which won't be very difficult. But I basically have it in a string right now just so I can test it to make sure it all works. And it does, so it's not going to actually delete that when I use it. But um, it adds like that. So I'll put up on the screen what I actually, what you actually will type in to get this a specific color code. But yeah, I had a way, I had to figure out a way to actually turn into a player input code into actual change it into actual like color code because I don't have the essentials plugin um, because I'm making everything custom so I had to find a way to make that work which it does and it's perfect so I like that it's looking pretty good um, so the next thing I want to show off is probably okay actually the enchanter so you can do slash EC or can do slash enchanter um, oops um, I have two ways the EC is an alias and it doesn't actually use 35 levels. It uses the equivalent of 35 levels in, like in terms of XP. So you can get these different books. And then I also have the fireworks. So you open it up. It tells you with a book you get in chat. And then it puts off a firework into the air. And it also puts up a firework based on the color, which I thought was a pretty cool addition. So I added this to it, which I thought was really, really nice. Um, I also added descriptions to all the books. I may have to make the descriptions better. Um, actually... Maybe I didn't add a description to some of them. Actually, Queezing Enchantment. I guess I didn't add a description to Queezy, so I'll have to do go back and do that. Health boost I did. Lantern. Looks like these are good. So, yeah. That's looking pretty good. Um, so, yeah. That added a little bit more depth to the game. And then, also, this does give you 20% like minus damage incoming. That also works pretty nicely. And then, I also added... Which was some someone suggested this in the Discord. Add like the bleed effects or something when you're getting the combo stacks. So when you're comboing someone, you build up damage. Um, you get basically get a damage multiplier for every combo you land. And the way I do it is a player. The only way to remove your combo stacks is if you get a hit. So if someone has like poison or toxic on their armor, which is what I call it, so toxic, basically gives you poison. The, the player hitting you poison has a chance to at least. So if you get poison, it's not going to break your damage stacks. It's only when they hit you. So if you're actually good at PvP, you're going to be able to do more damage. You're going to be able to do better at PvP. You'll get more damage 
multipliers pretty much do more damage you can get more kills easier so yeah it's, pvp is going to be a lot more important here um combo is a big one so i added a sort of a bleed effect to it so when you're getting your combo stacks you're getting your combos you'll have a little particle so that's the only particle added for the enchants other enchants don't have particles because i don't really think and i feel like a lot of particles going off your face will be really annoying anyways let's actually show how the uh let's actually go in here really quickly and make some armor pieces to show you how this works um okay so i have two tiers this is one thing i do need to get your opinions on these levels i can always change because i'm gonna have to balance it later but um basically what you have to do is you put two things in it nothing's gonna work there's two tiers this one can give you a random so it has a chance to give you any enchant that can go on a helmet and then it's going to give you between one and six enchants that can go on a helmet and then this one will give you between one and three enchants and also if you don't have any vanilla enchants on your armor or your sword or bait weapon or whatever that is then you'll also get the vanilla enchant so if i put this in here it'll give you prop form breaking three but if you have let's say like um something with already like protection on it you put in there it's not going to give you the vanilla enchants um so i thought that was pretty cool someone also suggested that i thought that was a good idea so since you're already spending this much levels you'll actually be able to get your uh vanilla enchants on here as well so let's click this actually you click that um okay so this looks like it's actually a pretty good roll basically what the whole point of this is is to make starter gear because if you don't know the way i'm doing it oh yeah probably if you didn't see this already there's no percent signs or anything like that so you the way you apply armor or the way you apply books is you have to start at level one then go to level two level three level four and all the way up and since that's might be a little bit dry if you're starting from level one all the time i have this so you can actually make starter gear and the way to do this is by the way you get this item right here upgrade enchantment devil is by the custom crafting recipe which i have for it um if you want to know more about this i made a video and actually explained a lot of the code behind it but i've actually added the way to enchant things so let's do this one and also i've added fireworks for this too which i thought was pretty neat so yeah, this one's not going to be as good because obviously it's going to give you less. The gold one's obviously being better. Okay, that was terrible luck. And you can see it just gives you random enchants um, based on the armor or whatever. So let's check this here. And then we can also try some of the weapon enchants real quickly here. Show you how that works. Um, let's go like four axes. swords so we'll go there so that was the three fireworks going up in the air which i thought was pretty cool so last story xp boost four that would actually be really nice to have early game xp boost is gonna which gives you more xp from grinding mobs i suspect is three um not terrible magnetic oh, that's terrible oh yeah that's actually pretty good combo one cleanse three max cleanse life heal four that's pretty good oh that's actually really good you got a lot of enchants on that one so yeah, I thought this would be a pretty neat thing to do. Try out the, all this. Basically, you can get custom armor like this starting off. Um, and it's I feel like it's going to add a really cool dynamic to the game, as well as being able to get books. So that's pretty neat. Tell me what you think about that down below. I thought that was a pretty good idea, but I could be wrong. Also, for the last video, what I've added is the another enchant called um, Remedy. So what Remedy does is as a chance to give you hp back kind of like life heal so it's basically like that because i felt like when i was testing some enchants in the last one that it's it was a little bit too damaging when you had like if you have multiple people hitting one guy I feel like it's a little bit too damaging so i thought having remedy would be a nice idea and i also did some balancing of enchants i'll do more later um basically i kind of want to talk about stacking so the stacking of enchants um so let me just get some like random books here Okay, so if you can see here, the description, you can look down here and it says helmet enchant, which means it can only go on helmets. So the way I did this versus what Cosmic did, which is probably the most popular server that has custom enchants, is no one really knew how anything stacked because they just, I don't think they even do, they never really talked about it. So that's why I wanted to sort of avoid that and be a lot more detailed. So if you can see here, every so basically what you can do when you're on the server is you can assume every enchant will stack so that means based on the description here so this only goes on swords so you don't really have to worry about that only goes on boots only goes on helmet only goes on axe so when this has armor right here 
This means it can go on any piece of armor, which also means if you have it on multiple pieces, it's going to increase the chances of the actual enchant proccing. So that's why I have full toxic on the set. Gives you poison. I felt like it's a really good enchant. Um, remedy also. So the more you have on your set, the higher chance you will to proc. Um, so that's the way I went about this whole system here is I had it, the percent chance, something like that, based upon just the description here. So you don't have to be guessing. So you're like, okay, yeah, je I mean, Jelly League is actually a pretty cool enchant. But um, yeah, so that's the way I went about it. Tell me if you like that. I feel like it's a pretty good idea. Also, tell me how you like this sort of book aesthetic look. I think it's pretty nice. Um, and yeah, all right. Um, let me show you really quickly a little bit more of these organization scrolls. So just on a little bit more chaotic looking items like this so you can see how it actually works perfectly and you know you can hear the sound that it gives you and response to applying it and everything like that um so besides from that what else i've added is i've made a separate map for in the code for combo that is specific to mobs so you can get your damage multipliers when you hit mobs and the good thing about it is when you get hit by like when you get hit by a mob or anything like that it's only going to break the damage stacks for your mobs and also means when you grind mobs, you won't be able to do extra damage to players because I, don't know, I felt like that was a lot better way of doing it instead of making it all clumped into one so you can't just hit some mobs and do more damage to players. Um, what else have I added? The XP boost enchant. So that's the other thing I've added as well as make descriptions about, talked about that a little bit earlier. Um, besides from that, everything's basically the same. Um, so this definitely is a lot. This took a lot of code to actually complete this as well as custom enchants. Um, making all this work, making all these items work. Um, but yeah, so that's basically everything. What I'm going to be working on next is the utilities plugin, um, which will be pretty good. So I'll make some videos about that later on. I would go in and show you the different code and start explaining all the different stuff I did because there's a lot of it. I have probably over 80 classes now in this one custom enchant plugin. But the problem is I've been really, really busy uh, with all the schoolwork. So I don't want to make this video too long and I don't really have time for that right now. So I'll try to do explain the code later when I get maybe the final version done, which is not going to be much more, but I'm going to have to do more testing with the enchants. So there's always that to do. Um, but yeah, so the next video I probably will do, it'll probably pertain to actually making the server spawn or part of the utilities plugin. Anyways, if you have any suggestions, leave them down below and I'll see you the next one.